the brand new AirPods 3 or AirPods generation are here, but we want to find out how well do they compete against its biggest rival, the Galaxy Buds 2. Let's find out. Hey guys, Thunder E here and thank you for joining me on the channel. And today I have the brand new AirPods 3, which are available right now. And if you're watching this for the very first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button notification icon to get notified about more videos about audio and fun things like this on the channel. Now, the AirPods 3 or the third generation AirPods are the successor to the original AirPods. It's, these are not a continuation of the AirPods Pro, but the AirPods that a lot of people love and also one of the best selling pair headphones Apple mentioned, and that's very true. Now, in terms of design, this is something that has a case that is very similar to your AirPods Pro. It also has a smaller fo footprint overall. Now, this case itself comes with wireless charging, similar to what you have on your Galaxy Buds uh, 2, uh, but also supports MagSafe charging as well. So you can use either method to charge, as well as also a lightning port to boot. Now, when it comes to the design, it's a very different design. It's closer to the design of the AirPods Pro. It has a shorter stem, and it also has that kind of uh, bulbous look to it in terms of just the overall look. Now, comparing design-wise to what we have with the Galaxy Buds, the Buds have more of like a P or pod shape uh, and also has a tip around it. Now, that's the difference in design you will find with both, and that is very, very important when it comes to fit and feel, depending on the individual. Now, with the Galaxy Buds uh, 2, I can easily put them into my ear and they do stay in my ears quite well and quite comfortably. Um, I can shake, I can dance, I can work out with them and I have no issues. With the AirPods 3, um, the design is one that I, I always say it fits about 50% of the population. For me, it doesn't fit as well. Now, it's much better than the original AirPods, but it's something I have to kind of cajole and fit. And uh, yes, it's in here right now, but normally it will start sliding off. If I work out with this, they're gonna come off. So in terms of fit though, I would say it's not the best. And that's where the Galaxy wins on this round. Okay, now price is a very important factor, especially uh, gauging what you get for that price point. Now with the Galaxy Buds 2, it's priced at $129 compared to the AirPods uh, 3, which are priced at $179. Now, in terms of features, they come with very distinct separate set of features. Now, with $179 price point, some of you might expect active noise cancellation. That is not the case with the AirPods 3. Uh, these are meant to be more open ear design and also it's, that's a kind of a differentiating factor between the AirPods Pro, I believe, and the AirPods 3. Now, when it comes to the Galaxy Buds 2, they do have active noise cancellation and they do have varying levels of active noise cancellation. I would say it's actually pretty good. It's very comparable to the AirPods Pro. Also has an ambient mode or transparency mode there. So you have that built in. So that is a plus for the Galaxy uh, Buds 2. Now on the other side though, the AirPods 3 does have uh, spatial audio. Now spatial audio is a very unique tool in terms of listening when you're listening to music, but especially while you're watching movies. Uh, so I do like that feature while watching movies. When I'm listening to music, not so much. To me, it doesn't really work too well. Uh, that's something to take note. Now there are no built-in EQs or any customability, customability within the AirPods 3. You can do some stuff if you go deeper into your iPhone, but off the glance through the volume controls, you can only switch into spatial audio. While the Galaxy Buds 2, you can go into the, app, the gear application and you've got more features there. You have a couple of EQs you can go through. You can change your transparency modes. And there's also a labs feature and there's also uh, uh, gaming uh, features as well in terms of low latency while you're gaming. So there are more features built into that aspect there. And I think that's also another plus uh, for the Galaxy Buds 2. Now fear not guys, look, it's not all just about the Galaxy Buds 2 and some of you are going like, you must be a Samsung fanboy. No, now let's move on to one of the most important things with, uh, with you know, true wireless buds, audio. How is the audio quality here? And I have to say the, the AirPods 3, yes, they do slide out of my ear, but when they're in, they sound really good. 
Now, Adaptive EQ tries to compensate quite a bit and I can actually hear when it's switching. And honestly, for me, I am not a fan of Adaptive EQ. I think it just does too much to mess with the way I listen to music. But I do appreciate the fact that it does a good job to try to shift to match you know, your surroundings because you have that open ear concept. Uh, in terms of your audio though, it does sound really good. You've got some nice highs. Uh, your mids are okay, your lows not so much because you tend to lose a lot of bass with just the way this is actually built. Now when you go to the Galaxy Buds themselves, the, the lows are not that prevalent, they are really smaller drivers. The mids are solid, the highs are good, can be muddled a little bit. The EQs definitely help here. I think when you want to compare both of them together though, I give the slight edge to the AirPods 3 um, because you do have just better mids and better highs. But the Galaxy Buds 2 do a better job with, uh, with the lows and also the EQ adaptation that you get with it. Now, of course, with True Wireless Buds, you want to know how uh, it sounds with the microphone while conversing with friends and chatting. Uh, this is where both of them do really well, and I was actually really impressed with the, uh, the AirPods 3. Conversations were clear, they were crisp, uh, most people had no idea that I was talking off a, a headset, everything just sounded really clean. Likewise, the Galaxy Buds uh, 2 also do the same, so you've got a very solid microphone, you've got a triple microphone set up there that does a really good job to give you clean, fresh audio. Now, in terms of battery life and charging, you've got uh, a slight edge that goes to the AirPods 3. Now, the AirPods 3 come with six hours of battery life for use. If you're using spatial audio, it drops down to five. Uh, but with the case, you get 30 hours in total. The Galaxy Buds 2, you get about five hours of use and then 4, .5, 4 to 4.5 with A and C. And then uh, with the case, you're getting 28 hours. So just you do the math, 30 is better than 20 the AirPods do a really good job in terms of battery life. Both of them have quick charge features where you charge the devices for five minutes, it gives you an hour of use. So in terms of battery life, you're gonna get that edge with the AirPods 3, but the Galaxy Buds 2 are not far behind. So when you look at everything I've put on the table in terms of features, in terms of comfort, uh, in terms of audio, uh, this is one where it really boils down to who gives you the best for your bang for the buck. And for me, that is still the Galaxy Buds 2. At $129 price point, you're packing so much more in there with active noise cancellation, you've got some really good audio, and you've also uh, got some really solid microphones. Now, the AirPods 3 are good, but I'm finding a hard time justifying that $179 price point, especially when the AirPods uh, Pro are available, where I can spend a little bit more and get that, especially if I'm in the Apple ecosystem and I want to stay in that ecosystem, I think the AirPods Pro are a better choice. Now, if the AirPods 3 drop down to say like $150, maybe $140, then I think it's a much more solid buy. But for right now, the Galaxy Buds 2 win this battle game for me. So if you guys want to see and hear more about audio, use the link down below to follow us on this channel. Otherwise, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.